Hi everyone, so this is Roland from IOTEX. So let me do a screen share first. Yeah, I want to talk about something like a team has been working on recently. It's a decentralized verifiable compute network. All right, so it starts with a problem. Like uh, everybody perhaps know, like a public blockchain is a permissionless, uh, open, right? But like a D apps are actually closed to the real world. So what I mean by that is, you know, if you look at the real world economy, it's like a $500 trillion kind of in size, right? But if you look at the DeFi, which is a major category in the Web3 or crypto space, it's only 50 billion. So it's a very small, tiny fraction of the entire world, real world. And then, you know, crypto has been here for a while, right? So we have to ask ourselves why it's still like a very small fraction. So what's going on here? Um... So, you know, we have a thesis here. It's basically like the interoperability between the two worlds are actually missing, right? So everybody has been talking about, you know, the Web3 version of Uber, Airbnb, Trader, Spotify, which, you know, in the real world adding together, so they were $3 trillion or like an energy network in the Web3 or decentralized way, which was $140 trillion. So everybody's talking about like concept like this, including wireless networks, server net networks, so on and so forth but nothing actually happened in the past few years. So that in our thesis is kind of lacking of interoperability. So there's no way, you know, so blockchain world can sense what is going on in the real world and vice versa. So if you really like uh, um, think about it, this interoperability, interoperability problem between the two worlds is actually like a compute problem. So what I mean by that is everybody knows smart contract has its sweet spot in terms of like computation. Right, it's very friendly to developer. It can do, it can do a lot of things around the assets, you know, lending, borrowing, issuing new token, NFT, so on and so forth. So it basically controls the logics. But in terms of like a processing, like a real world data, high fidelity data, stream data, whatever. So it lacks the compatibility to do the job. So what if, so there is like a middle layer, so which can, you know, handle all those real world information in a decentralized fashion, also verifiable fashion. Uh, you know, in real time, and then giving a provable or verifiable result to the smart contract, it basically kind of amplifies the compatibility of the smart contract to cover a lot of real world D apps, right? So for, for example, so you, you're driving from A to B, you can, like your car basically emits a lot of data in between every, every two seconds, right? To prove like you're driving around this route. Uh, then if they're kind of like a middle layer protocol, that can combine all the data together, verify them, and then kind of producing like a proof, you, you actually travel or drive from A to B in a safe way, then the smart contract can do the rest of the magic, maybe give a token or NFT, so on and so forth. Okay, <clears throat> so with this theory, so, you know, the team actually started to work on like a decentralized verifiable compute network starting from uh, last year. So, you know, we were the first like a world uh, uh, decentralized infra basically turns high fidelity, high fidelity uh, real-time streams into verifiable smart contract ready proofs, right? So on the left side of the diagram, basically you see a lot of signals coming from the real world. They can actually come in from your car, your watch, your phone, and even from some trusted like a data vendors. Um, and then those streams kind of come into the web stream, which is, you know, a bunch of like a node running a decentralized fashion, does a lot of computing and produce like a verifiable kind of results to, to like a, a smart contract on sitting on different chains, like Arbitron, Optimism, or Score, or IOTAX, or Ethereum, so on and so forth. So underlying, right, so if we kind of zoom in a little bit, so like, you know, it's a web stream, definitely like a working a very similar way to smart contract. If you're a developer, you want to build like a real world D app, so you have to write your computation logics in high level uh, uh, language like Rascal or JavaScript. You want to compile and deploy to this like a uh, decentralized network. Then your job is done. Then next is kind of high fidelity, high fidelity streams will actually kick in, which could be from your device, from user or from somebody else, you know, which will trigger like uh, the internal computation of the, of the, uh, of your, what you wrote. Uh, so basically we have a zoom in here is basically kind of, uh, map all the computationals in the in the space of the KP, uh, which will produce some sort of proof and make sure like uh, your result is like a verifiable. 
And then the results will give into a verifier, which is a smart contract deployed on different one, layer one or layer twos, and then eventually kind of invoke your D app, which could be like a you know sleep tour, could be something like a fun game, so like this one so forth. So this is uh, uh yeah, so this is basically we want to make the compute mathematically verifiable. Um that's what we do. So we launched like a DevNet or web stream back in the this year, June-ish, if I remember correctly. So this is like a front end. We build like an IDE for developers to interacting with the protocol, right? Um, so this is basically how it works. Developer will create a project, you know, do some little bit of programming, upload like the uh, the applet here, and you know, just like a, a inject data to keep it going. So this is uh this is DevNet we have. Um, so we're not just building, we're actually working with a lot of customers, real, uh, real world customers, for example, Drive. Drive is like a Web3 Uber, mostly like a serving like Indian users in the world. So we have an integration with them. They actually have their like a trusted location data, you know, piping through like the web stream. So it can verify the aggregates and proves, okay, so this, you know, rider has been like a taking a taxi, you know, from A to B, and some sort of tokens or reward or like a travel cost should be, you know, uh, should be uh, transactions should be happen. So this is like a one example. Um, so another customers we're working with is like Aura Ring. So they are pretty big in the United States. They are doing this like a smart ring, which I do have one here. Uh, this ring basically monitors your like uh, bio indicators while you're asleep, you know, your heart rate, your breath, so so and so forth. And then we think this is a very high fidelity data, which can be streamed directly through like a web stream. Again, like the web stream does a massage of the data, which is coming every second or every two seconds uh, from the user directly. And then it has some sort of like a very dummy formula to calculate your sleeping score based on your kind of heart rate, uh, so on and so forth. And then the score we actually have, a, of course, uh, come by with a ZKP going to a smart contract, basically says, oh, your sleeping score is 95 last night. So here I gave you like an NFT pillow, right? So this is exactly like a POC. We are working together yeah, was, and they want to, you know, push yeah, this feature to like a, there are like a 2 million users. So yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe in the coming, coming Q4 next year. This is another customer we have. You know, we, we are also doing some public good as well. Um, so there is a small category, also very uh, rising category in the in the web three space. It's called DPIN, decentralized physical infra network. Basically, means a lot of devices around the world, like a Helium, you know, like a Demo, like a GeoDNet, so on and so forth. So they have a lot of devices here and there. Uh, and we're building like a public good project. It's it's called DPIN Scan. It's some sort of like uh, the Ether Scan. Uh, basically, captures what is actually. Uh, going on each of the networks, right? So are they having like uh, more devices? How much utilities like those <laughs> machine networks is actually producing? Um, yeah, and what's uh, what's uh, what's the kind of like a price for the tokens and so forth? Yeah, so I think you know since our like a DevNet launch in June, uh, we see like a significant growth in terms of like a users. Users are most like a developers here in this case. Um, so we're doing like a really well because, uh, you know, I, I think we kind of got like a good, like a market fit for this, for this particle. Uh, we're, uh, we have uh, finished our pre previous round last year, you know, led by Sense and Husky, uh, Jump, who else, um, you know, Blockchain, so uh, and, and we're actually preparing for the next round. So if you guys have any interest, talk with me, please. So we have a lot of partners we are working with. So they're in different categories. So they are in healthcare, automotive, environment, smart home, smart city. Uh, and also we're working with some social protocol as well, the DeFi as well. RWA has been like a recent kind of hot topic right now. So we're, you know, kind of like in talking with uh, several RWA pro uh, protocols to see how we can work together. So yeah, basically we're looking for partners. If you think your use case or like a real world applications that need some sort of you know, processing layer in the middle, you know, verifiable <laughs> way, then definitely like we're here.